Oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Morning, guys. I'm out here at La Beach just before dawn. Um, it's our first proper day here. Had a good start yesterday, just in the afternoon when we, when we got here. Had an hour or so fishing along the beach here and got a decent uh, Golden Trevally. Um, anyway, first light is a little bit later than we thought. It's just starting to appear in the sky over there. So I'm going to have a wander along the beach here and have a bit of a flick. See if we can't get something. Just move down a little bit. There's a couple of little sort of high points on the beach here where I can get a bit closer to the water and out of the waves. So I'm trying to get up and stand on them so I'm not in the water too much. Still plenty of box jellyfish around <clears throat> at the moment, or at least there were on Melville. Not to mention crocs, of course. I'm making a point of fishing right into the edge because the goldie that I caught yesterday wouldn't have been more than about uh, three metres offshore when he took it. Of course, I don't know if he followed it in from further out. But I think he was sitting along the edge of the sort of dirty stuff and sand being stirred up by the beach. And of course, when the fish come and hunt along the beach like this, beach itself is the edge that they're pushing the bait up against. So I don't think you necessarily have to cast a million miles out when the fish is sitting in pretty close. Right. <clears throat> go along with this next little uh, bit here. There looks like there's a big sort of, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a big plume of dirty sort of sandy water pushing out off the beach there. That looks like a pretty likely spot to me where the fish might be hunting. The only problem with here, see there's a bit of a runoff from the beach there too. The only problem with here is there's no real high point to cast from. So I might need to be just a tiny bit in the water, but I think I'll be safe here. I've got long pants and socks and shoes, so my skin's all covered. And there's no steep drop off for a crop. To sit under. So I'm not going to wade into the actual water, but if the waves wash up over my feet, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Oh, yes! Ah, oh, dropped him. Oh, bugger. That fish was sitting right in the mouth of this drain around the stirred up water. That's sort of where I thought there could be a fish sitting. Jumping out there. Oh, Jesus! I just got absolutely hammered. He bit me off. The fly line came back and hit me in the eye. 
Whoa. All right, time to up the leader, I think. That was a big fish. Whoa. Wow. All right. I'm gonna go up to 40 pound trace. Oh. Jesus. Whatever that was, it, was uh, it had some size, that's for sure. So I'm just tying on another white clouser. That's what seems to have been working. Bloody hell, I don't know what that fish was, but he sure hammered it. Whew. That fly line, he, he bit through the trace, and that fly line came back and whacked me in the face at a rate of knots. <laughs> Whatever that was, it sure had some size. And it must have had some teeth too, because it, it was a clean break on the trace. It didn't break at the knot, it went through the line. All right, I need to put the glasses on after that. Don't really want any more wax in the face. Just saw a fish swim out with that wave. He was right up on the bank there. And hunting literally right up on the edges. Oh, yep, there's a fish out there. There's definitely fish moving through here. I've seen about three now. And I've had two hits. I've got to fish it right into the edge. That fish, that big hit that I had just then, it was right on the edge. And I saw a fish just before, literally swim up over the sand with the wave, and then he's back out of the water, swimming back out of it. So what can happen when there's uh, fish hunting along the edge like this, along the beach? When you're shore-based fishing, the fish are used to pushing the bait up against the edge. So if you're fishing a, a fly or a lure back in, you fish it right to the edge, the fish thinks the bait is about to escape up into the shallow water where it can't reach it. And that can sometimes trigger a strike. So I think that's why I'm getting a lot of these strikes right up on the edge here. They might be following it in from further out, but they're striking when they think it's just about to get out of reach. That drain is sort of finished emptying now. The tide's running back out. The sun's just peeking up over the uh, over the trees now. At some point I'm going to go out and have a look on that headland. A bit of a fish out there. Maybe I should have already been out there, I don't know. There has been some action here. What is that? It's not huge. Feels like a little trev, maybe. Maybe it's a salmon. Uh. Oh. Mm. 
It's all right, actually. Not too bad. Uh. Oh, it's a trev, I think. Oh, it's a queenie. What's that that's coming from? Yeah, a little queen fish. There we go. Might need the uh, need the pliers to get him off, I think. Oh, all right. Oh, he's got the fly in the corner of his mouth there, so I can just lift him off like that. There he is, guys. Little queen fish. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Not keep him out too long. hunting right here in the shallows. Just saw him make a bow wave out of there. There's certainly some action along the beach here. I must say, for land-based fishing, this is fun. I might get out there and try that headland, actually. Fish on it. What is he? <laughs> it's like a little GT or something. Not big. But... <laughs> little queenies or something. There he is. <laughs> Yeah, little queenies. <laughs> Woo! Oh, they're good fun. There he goes. <sighs> Alright. Get back here. On this point. And throw downstream for... Throw upstream for them. Up current. See if there's any bigger ones. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, they're in there. They're on it. Come on, mate. one. Come on, get it. Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh, they're good fun. Oh, they're not big. <laughs> oh, there's another one. All oh, right. Oh, off he goes. Self release. Yeah. 
Ow, he spiked me in the leg. Ah. There's nothing else here, apart from Queenies. Oh. But my rod's fallen out and he's all bloody tangled up. Oh, Jesus. That was a mess. Yep. Uh, what have we got this time? I don't know. I think it's another queenie. Ah, <laughs> he dropped it. It was another queen. Oh, that was a better fish. Just let it sink down a little bit out there. getting out and casting from a little bit more out on the point there. along this face here. Battery's gone. All right. Oh. <laughs> so the queen fish coming up and taking that right there. Right at my feet. A big food line and a bubble line coming lot right along the front of this rock face here. There might be some more queenies. Stacked up. Oh, <laughs> I'll take right here at my feet. Yes, there's a good fish. What is that? Oh, that's a much more solid fish. Oh. oh. Snap my fly rod. Oh, mate. I've still got the fish on. Ugh. Bloody cod. Oh, sh <sighs> Far out. Oh. 
Oh, that was stupid. I was high sticking it. <sighs> what an idiot. My God. When am I going to stop doing that? There we go, guys. The bloody cod. It cost me a bloody fly rod. <sighs> Off it goes. Well, looks like I'm heading back to the cabin to get another fly rod far out. That's two rods this trip. Snapped another rod. Far out, man. That's the new one. Yeah. Hang on. Is that snapped or has it just popped off? I think it's just popped off. Oh, I think it has. Or is it broke? No, it's broken off at the ferrule. Huh? Yeah. Well, you might be able to just pull the ferrule out and... No, no. That one won't go in? No, it's broken. All right. Will they replace it, do you reckon? Oh, under warranty, yeah. Will they? Yeah. Do you have a warranty? 